Right, today we are taking a look at Saki Ichigo's mom, the new thousand year blood woman Saki. Um, if you haven't checked out the summoning video, it will be in the top right corner and also down in the description. Um, go check it out. Um, yeah, but nonetheless, we're taking a look at Masaki. She is a character that accelerates at normal attack damage. So I'm not going to be running an SP build. There is no reason. And also a lot of people uh, in the Bleach community or Bleach Brave Souls community are talking about, is she better than Tokinara? Because what she has, she basically has almost the exact same things. Basically, she has Flurry. Uh, she has Enhancer. She also has Poise, which Tokinara doesn't have, if I'm pretty sure. And she has Guard Break, which also she has that Tokinara doesn't have, is hit, Hidden Enemies. So basically, you can go for more attack and focus. Uh, so basically, you can go for more damage, in a sense, because you don't have to go for the Zeta pill. Uh, whereas on Tokinado, you kind of have to go with a Zeta pill so you can hit hidden enemies. Um, and in her case, we could just go with Hollow Bait, Golden Chappy, and Chap, uh, and also normal Chappy dispenser. So I can go all of these three. Uh, they're all th fully 30. So in total, I'll get a 2,124 attack damage. And this is also with these link slots. Obviously, this link slot can be higher if all of these were 1010 10, because Zanketsu is not 1010. 10. And if they also were 5 out of 5. But this is the highest we can get with her. She's also only 1 out of 5. I am going to make her 5-5 five five later in the video. When I'm going to see if she can do the mind run. The mind inheritance zone run faster than Tokinada. So basically I've already done it with Tokinada. So I'm going to do it on her. And if she's going to do it by auto. Because usually you want to do these things by auto. And I want to see if she can clear it faster than Tokinada. But... With that being said, let's go and test out a normal attack damage. We're also not going to go with the buffs here. We're just going to see her raw normal attack damage. And we also have Ryuken on the run, which we're going to use later. Um, so yeah. Oh, we're going to turn off auto here. So let's first of all take a look at normal attack damage. I am playing on Steam, so it's a bit difficult. So we got 30,000, 37,000, excuse me, 36. 28 that was a bit low um, and she is a no affiliation killer which is a bit unfortunate um, but still okay, a 36 is the highest we've seen so far if I'm not mistaken um, yeah so let's test out with the boost or the enhancer let's see how much damage we can get off here oh a 50,000 so that is an increase by almost not almost double but it's a I think I saw 55 there. That is a massive increase, as you probably can see. Um, let's see. It's down to 36 there. Okay, 35, 37. So without enhance or boot, without the boost, we can get to 37,000. But with the boost, we can get to 55,000. So let's test out and see the ability. Not that you're going to use it. Okay, that's also some nice damage. But still, you're not really going to use the abilities. It, or could we actually got a 38,000... 42,000 crit without the boost. That is some good damage. Let's test that with the boost here again. The boost also hits for a nice amount of damage. So 51,000 to 52,000. Okay. So far, she is doing pretty good. I would say so myself. She is doing really, really good actually too. Quite honest, and she also obviously has guard break, which is the fantastic thing about these characters. Let's test that with her ultimate. Let's see, we're gonna run the ultimate. Let's see how much damage she's gonna deal with. Obviously, she's not an SP, she has zero SP right now, but her ultimate is also just nice. Okay, I forgot to take off an ally, but so far, I'm liking her very, very much. Um, her damage is pretty, pretty good. So, let's take a look at how she will do it in inheritance zone now we're going to take a look at it in inheritance zone obviously it's not her killer uh, she's not hollow killer or Aranka killer but i still want to test out her damage so we have the same thing we have on tokinada he also uses all these 10 plus and also we are going to make her five attack since tokinada is also four attack and he's plus four in attack and also plus six in focus so by default, he kind of has more in that sense, but he has to run a Zeta build. 
and I can already see she has more attack. I'll put Chokinana's attack on screen right now, so you can see the difference. Um, so by default, she kind of already has more. I'm editing video, and I just want to quickly interrupt by saying I got another copy of Misaki, and her focus is also five, like shown on screen. Um, and as you can see, her focus is also higher. It has about 100 more focus, and she also has about 50 more attack than him, uh, because she doesn't have to run Zeta pill because she can hit hidden enemies. Um, but now let's see how quickly uh, clear the run, and I will also put Tokinada's clear at the end, so we can get uh, sort of an idea of how fast he did as well. Um, or we actually might just say it. I might actually just say it right now, so uh, instead of getting you to wait, I think Tokinada, if not, yeah, Tokinada cleared it in 145. Put it on screen so you can see it. 145, so 1 minute and 45 seconds, and this is on auto as well. So this is just a comparison to see. Obviously, the runs aren't going to be the same all the time. They're going to differ from if they're going to use their. Uh, skills basically if they don't use their abilities they're dealing more damage kind of in a sense because their abilities aren't supposed to deal any damage because they're just normal attacking characters so we want to see the normal attacks um, I actually also forgot to take off a friend but the same thing I did with Tokinada so it's not gonna make too much of a difference here it's just a rough estimation like if she's just two seconds faster than Tokinada I don't think this is game changing but if she's like a whole 20 or 30 seconds faster that is a lot better then if you're only speaking about the few seconds i don't think this is too much of a wow kind of kind of thing but or factor unless you obviously can clear it by a whole like 30 seconds maybe even 20 seconds more that is going to be quite the deal then uh, or the deal breaker um, but so far she's doing I actually can't tell if she's doing good or not. Um, we will have to see once the time is done. So let's see how far she's going to clear it. Okay. There we go. Let's see how fast that was. That is a total time of... What is that we're seeing? 146, so she's actually slower than Tokinara. Wow. I did not expect that. Is she slower in some... Wait, let me take a look at... Um, let's quickly remove Tokinara here. I actually am kind of interested to see what um, Tokinara's killer is because I can't remember it. Because uh, I'm pretty sure he doesn't have. Does he have the killers of this? No. Oh, he's 10 attack. That is why as well. That makes sense. So, I thought he was 5. I, I mistakenly changed these. But he's actually 10 attack. So, making him a lot stronger than, than, um, than her, obviously. Then that is very impressive. But at the same time, I'm not too sure how I feel about it. Obviously, if she had 10 attack and more focus, she could be stronger. Yeah, I do think so. I do think so. I am going to say that they are about the same. She is a bit faster, I would assume, by just taking a look at that. But still, um, yeah, there's actually no difference. So if you have Tokinata and you are wondering if you want to summon on this banner to get... Um, Masaki just for this don't do it really they're just she's just a couple of seconds fast I would assume uh, but other than that that is going to be it for Masaki and I'm going to make a Ryukin one and I'll see you in a bit peace